All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. So today we are going to highlight pets. I guess uh, at least the pets that I have and the skills that I've unlocked. So everybody is different in their progress. I understand that 100% completely get that. But I just wanted to show you the importance of having pets, the right pet skills for your build and how you could progress. So as you can see, I'm dying a lot here. I'm getting absolutely nowhere, but I'm able to fight the boss on this stage. So this is my attack farm build uh, that I, I used to use for lower stages with my dagger and so forth, just because I wanted to work on my mastery. So the mastery is over here. It'll give you global bump every time you level up your either bow, your dagger, or your sword. So like uh, the last video, I stopped around 100 for the sword, and I wanted to just kind of work on my dagger and then my bow and so forth just to mess around because I like to see different effects of the game and the different, uh, I don't know, the animation. I think it's, it's pretty cool. So anyways, going back to the pets, why we are dying why <laughs> why are we dying so much it's because of our pets really so right now i have all item fine type of pets as much as i can 10.12 even this little guy over here with 10.12 percentage and more item fine stuff as much as i can for my pet selection that's why it's more or less my pet fine so it is not a stage where I will be farming because I can't really kill them at the moment unless I do something different. So I am going to switch over to my attack build and my attack build. I will show you the difference in terms of progress, power and overall domination over these guys. So I'm going to switch over to my attack build. Yeah, sure. Let's just save it. Go ahead and just do that. So if you notice this, how I am just slicing through all of these guys that at one point I couldn't even kill the first guy and I'm just kind of flying through all of these guys here. And why is that? Well, as you could see, let's go into the pets. So the pets that I currently have, again, these are, you know, everybody is at a different stage in the game, in the progress. So this is where I'm at. It took me quite a while to uh, really show you and highlight what I was working towards. So what I like to use is the sword. And I also, at the moment, am enjoying the Tempest build. So with that, each of these pets, if you notice, I have up to six for my Sword Mastery and also my Tempest. But let's read what the Sword Mastery pet effect gives you. When you unlock your triple S, you have the ability to get six of these pets going on and it unlocks this ability to get the six that we're looking at here. So for the sword mastery, I unleash a blade force every fifth attack, dealing 2000% of basic attack damage. Damage decreased by 50% every time the blade force hits an enemy. Penetration increased by 20% for 3 seconds upon activation. At 2,000 every 5th hit, if your attack speed is super fast because of Tempest, you're going to be swinging this out a lot. An additional 2,000% basic attack wave. And I thought that was, hey... That sounds pretty cool. So I went and I, uh, you're going to have to save up a boatload of these Slate of Mastery to unlock it. So I would say start saving towards the uh, you know mid to end game. You really do want to work on your pets because as you can see, I was flying through it like now before I wasn't even able to kill one on my farm build. But going back to the pets, the other thing that I have is the Tempest Mastery. So the Tempest Mastery is, while Tempest is in effect, which happens quite often, critical damage applied to normal attack is tripled. Also, sub-symbols effect increased by 10 times while Tempest is in effect. 
Tempest reactivates on attack, which is a 50%. So you, let's take a look at the little icon here. So right down here, this icon, the Tempest is literally like almost always up. And what is Tempest? Tempest, the symbol right here for two seconds, it says damage of basic attack increased by 142.2% and attack speed increased by 711% for five seconds. And it says a cooldown of two seconds. However, oh, hey, I got a quest. Whoa, that's a lot of raids. Nice. Thank you so much. But anyways, this is going to be like always up essentially because of that six skills. So I am super flying through, I have a huge damage buff, and I'm just slicing through these guys like crazy. And so I want to like, let's go back to um my attack farm build, which is not the pet setup, which was what I was running for a very long time until I saved up enough to get into that. So when we look at my pets, I just put in whatever it was and whatever they had, they had. And at that time, I just had two of everything, essentially. Two ice, maybe like um, two holy, two daggers or sword, two rings, two retribution, two tempest, two fortitude. It was just two across the board. And it got me up to a point where I was like, all right, I'm doing okay. But I always had to work a little bit extra harder versus smarter. I guess that's where coming into play like that's when your resource management comes into play and when they have events what are you investing your resource in are you skipping over the slate of mastery a lot of people may because they're like ah whatever it's secondary to me i want x y and z instead i want to get like you know i want to spend uh 1000 of my easter eggs on something else so before we have the easter event and during the Easter event, of course, you always want to get all your keys. Uh, but uh, if you just save a thousand for a triple S pet summon ticket, you're going to lose out on the opportunity of getting these right here, the Slate of Mastery. So the Slate of Mastery, you need those in order to, let's see, like, uh, ooh, I die. But uh, anyway, in order to change up one of these like uh over here if i wanted to change and activate tempest i need the slate of mastery so if you don't have enough of these you're not going to be able to do so so if you're running either a bold build or any type of build you need the slate of mastery to really enhance your guys oh i died because i'm in my attack farm build but uh if we switch over to just the attack with all of our six, which is six of our, um, what is it, sword. But now my next build, I'm going to have to really focus on element. Do I want six of what? Like, do I want basic attack element is now ice? Do I want basic attack element is now holy? So that's going to be my next move. So... That's why it's such a slow grind getting enough of these slates that I haven't really touched on pets and what skills to really utilize. But at some point in time, you're going to have to make a decision. What do I want my build to be? So for me, element, I'm still deciding. I don't really know, but I do like the Tempest. I do like the sword at the moment. I'm not really sure right now what element uh would work best for what i feel like doing and um or what i have i don't know who's to say comment below if you think i should go whichever direction but uh that is um i'll take that into consideration and maybe give it a try but it does take a boatload of the slate mastery the more you unlock on a pet the more it will cost you so if you go to like a regular dude down here and you want to unlock something, it's going to cost you hardly anything to unlock another skill benefit. But if you go towards um, something that you've unlocked quite a few stuff on, and if you click on here, I still have more stuff to unlock. It's going to cost you more. So it just keeps like costing more and more to uh, unlock 
certain things. So if a pet doesn't have the weapon uh, by default that you're looking for or the symbol that you're looking to do, you're going to have to unlock at least two. So that's why right now my element is what it was, it is what it is. So I'm going to have to work on that at some point in time. So that is where we're at right now. And I'm kind of deciding, should I try Leviathan or stick with uh, Ariel? So uh, Ariel does this. It increases damage taken by enemies or damage increased by 65% to targets affected by stun, freeze, or slow. So if I like using this particular pet, I may want to use basic attack element is now ice because ice, if I had the right sword, which I don't at the moment, it would be, let's go to the sword collection. It would be, um, was it Stormbringer? No, no, that's lightning. It would have to be right here, which is the frost brand. So frost brand automatically does ice damage. So the damage of ice attribute skills increased by 25%. Chance to deal 450% ice damage and apply frost effect on basic attack hits. This may be a build that I may want to eventually work towards. It's the Frost Brand Ice build for my Tempest. Who knows? But uh, right now, the my three-star sword just happens to be the Soul Harvester, which uh, I think it's still pretty good. It's on, on basic attack hit. Harvest enemy soul to increase attack by 5.25% for five seconds, and it stacks up to 10 times. So it's like 50.25%, right? So that's still pretty good. 52.5%. Yes. So it's 52.5%. So uh, that's still pretty good. I think it's a little bit less than here. And I don't get that 450 additional ice damage as well too. So this is, I, I think the frost is the way to go. But I don't have enough frost swords just yet to test that out to see which one would be better. But uh, going back to the pets again, like super important, as you can see, like we're just flying through these guys and as no problem. So we're going to hit up a boss and I'm not going to even use my boss build. You're going to see the difference in here. So slice right through and I'll show you what stage we're on as well too. So the stage that we're currently on, we are on chapter two, Orc Fortress nightmare mode and it's like three seven by just looking at how fast we're able to down the boss i am pretty sure we could clear all of orc fortress even the shore of madness and even the dragon's nest i'm pretty sure we could get up to hell and then maybe we'll start slowing down within uh here which is the uh, chapter two hell mode in a uh, plague of forest but uh, that is what we need to work towards. If you are enjoying the game, uh, Immortal Rising, it's pretty fun. There's lots of opportunities for me, myself, to get better, to uh, keep grinding and working at it. And one of the things that I want to show you guys how much of a difference this is, let's go into the dungeon. So my highest kill was 292. This is pre-pet setup. And now let's let's just do enter. I think we'll, we could just use our same um, attack build. So 292 is the number to beat. And right now, I think we are able to beat that just by looking at that ridiculously, like this is so fast. We are just chopping through these mimics, these goblins, mimic, whatever it is you want to call them, in the goblins vault. 292, we just blew by 292. We start slowing down around 300. Okay, I get it. Let's uh, keep on going here. We have over 150 something seconds. Oh my goodness. So remember, always go in hard, as hard as you can in the goblin vault. And then you want to use your sweep afterwards like you don't want to keep on you know attacking like single 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 
but the sweep, as we mentioned before in the other video, you want it to switch over to your gold fine preset. So whatever like this number that we'll get uh, now, we'll do a single sweep in our gold preset. And I'll show you the big difference over here. So we are d just doing really good. 314 right now, this is just nutty fast. All right, come on now, come on now, let's go. Chop away, get that mimic, let's do it. So maybe, I don't know, like uh, should I use, nah, 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 I, I think I did some practice dummy tests as well too. I would highly suggest that everybody do a practice dummy test when they're switching off their skills, their gear, like all sorts of stuff. I think it's super important, I think that's why I'm using this one right now versus Leviathan for the extra speed because the Mimic or the uh, the Goblin Vault, these are kind of single target and I'm not really farming clusters on a stage per se. So I'm not using my Blizzard to slow a mass amount of uh, guys just to chop through those. But like these guys, they come like one at a time and it is okay. So I think by the rate that we're doing it, no, oh, I think we could probably get at least 317. So yeah, 317 down. There you go. Maybe 318. 318. Yeah, I think we can. Maybe we'll stop at 318. But we're, that's a big difference. So from 292 to like 300 and some change. That is huge. Wow. This is this goblin is beast. It has a boatload of HP. So HP is also very important. We'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the awakening abilities, which is, I believe it's like wisdom where it reduces enemies HP. So the less HP you have to chop through, the better because it's percentage. So, uh, all right, so we're not gonna get 318, but pretty darn close to it. That's not too bad. So 317, and our total gold right here is 27R. All right, so 27R as a single without gold find. So 27R. So now our preset, as you can see right here, is gold find. So I have a boatload of gold find awakening, and everything is just gold find here. So make sure your preset is gold find. So 27R, we're going to do a quick battle and see how much gold we get from here. 4.2 s that's like over a, a, like you know 10 times more gold so definitely super worth it make sure you bump up your gold find preset you don't kill with it you don't farm with it you're just using it as a preset it doesn't have to be the prettiest setup but uh your like everything like uh should be gold find wherever you can like your charms should be gold fine and stuff like that. So you want to make sure your preset for gold fine is it could be like the crappiest gear, but the highest gold fine. Perfect. Just use it. And that's uh, what you should go after. So that is where my pet is. So we are at rank 230. I think we could bump ourselves down to maybe like in under 200. So uh, I'm thinking that is something that we could do. Let's do another. Let's do another boss. Let's see how fast we knock him down. Oh, it's too fast. Too fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So that is it for now. Oh my God. Just make sure you like, you know, work on your pet. Slowly grind towards it. I've just been like, you know, dilly dallying. I haven't been really pushing per se to like get the ranks. I've just been messing around a lot. Just kind of farming and just uh, playing around and seeing what works best for the style that I want to play in. Um, I don't really know much about builds in general, so I could completely be wrong and off base here. But uh, there is a big difference, I have to say, once you get the six. The six being either your bow, being your dagger, or your sword. And also the six in your symbols. Either your fortitude, your retribution, or your tempest. Six makes such a huge difference. If you're stuck in this part, I completely get it because I was for the longest time just stuck 
like four or five and just slowly working my way, saving resources until I was able to do so. But uh, work towards your six for your pets and uh, do the best you can and have fun doing it. So uh, that is it for now. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'll peace.